Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dino Crisis 2, this is episode 7. And we are still underwater inside the third energy reactor, trying to get a keycard so that we can get into Edwards City. Also, my health is not doing great, so I should probably heal. Just use one of these S's for now. But yeah, this section's been pretty cool so far, and I am enjoying it. Alright, so... We put the plug in, which means now we have to... Is there a puzzle here? I actually don't remember now. Alright, shutters are open. Right, like most things, we don't actually have to solve a puzzle once we plug something in. We can just plug it in and that's it. So how do we get there? Okay, we just have to go all the way back. This game does like to have you run back and forth through the same area. I mean, this is a cool section, but I don't know if it's really going to change up the formula at this point. I think we've kind of seen what there is to see down here. Wait, was that one worth 600 by itself? I thought these guys were only 400. He got pretty close that time. I don't think we can really get a good combo down here. But even a low combo is worth quite a bit. managed to snag that combo at the last moment. No, there was another one. That's fine. Five kills is pretty good. Plus the extra 6,000. Oh, you know what? Did I actually refill my aqua grenade? I did. Okay. We should probably just be using that, honestly. This is a one-shot kill. Okay, so we did all this stuff up there. There's another one. No, maybe not. Okay, so we open this shortcut, but is that any faster to get back up? Mm, not really. That just goes up the little ledge we came from. I suppose at some point we are going to need to backtrack to go to the missile facility, though, because... You know, we were told that we need a gas mask to get there, and I guess we're going to have to go through a whole elaborate process to get a gas mask. Maybe we'll find it in Edward City. Ooh. Almost got me around that corner. Here comes another one. Wasn't sure where that guy was going to come from, because I think he came diagonally over the middle piece. Alright, so I don't know if there's going to be like a big mother Mosasaur in here. I imagine there's going to be something a little stronger. Alright. Uh, we don't need to save, I don't think. We've got a resuscitation, so if we die to anything, we have another chance. I mean, the original game had resuscitations as well, but I don't remember them being all that prevalent. Plus, you needed them to make the poison darts, didn't you? The pipe of the oxygen supply has been cut or chewed off from the back of his diving suit. Alright, so he didn't actually get eaten, he just got drowned. City keycard. Alright, so now we can head to Edwards City. But what about over here? third energy reactor's over there. Maybe we don't actually have to go here yet. Maybe it's another place we'll have to backtrack to. 
found a new dino file. Plesiosaurus. Meaning, near lizard. 17 meters, height 3 meters. Our lifeline, the third energy reactor, is located in the lake, underwater. Okay, so we're not on the coast, we're in... on a lake. Half of the mechanics who go under for preventative maintenance never come back. They probably become bait for that giant thing. They are carnivorous reptiles. With their long neck, they surface the head to breathe. It's been reported that they have been seen attacking the pteranodons from the water with their long, agile necks. When attacked by them, aim for their head. They'll try to pull their prey into the water using their long necks. When you are attacked, the best thing you can do is to fire back at them. When you encounter them in the water, unfortunately, the only thing that will really hurt them is explosive artillery. Artillery. You also have to be careful of their strong water current they produce when they swim. It may be wise to avoid fighting them in the water. Okay, so we've only seen them above the water where they are pushovers, but I'm assuming there's also going to be one potentially down here. So I don't think we need to go in here, but let's, let's peek our head in and see what's waiting in here. If it's anything like the first game, we'll have to set this reactor to explode at some point so that it will send us to the future. This cutscene pretty much guarantees something big is going to show up. Warning. The third energy reactor has been damaged. Oh, that's not great. Energy reactor has been damaged. Do we have to fix it? <laughs> Switching to emergency power. Areas will be blocked to prevent explosions. They are considerably larger looking when you're in the water with them. Oh no, energy shields! Okay. So, I don't really know what the plan is here. I wonder if those just blocked us from going forward and that's it. Like, can I just leave? so large. I don't even think I can get up there. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be fixing the reactor or what. Also, I'm not sure if I can stun it at all. I thought maybe if I shockwaved it before it hit me, something would happen. There's a case over here. I think it's just a healing item. I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage for its size. Now we got another M. I'm gonna use my other S. And it doesn't even have to hit me with its mouth. <laughs> as long as it touches me, I take damage. I don't think I can hurt it. I think this is another T-Rex case. Ugh. Even with the air control you have, I'm having trouble getting up here. There we go. Oh good, another med pack in exchange for the one I used to get up here. And something else. Unable to carry any more items. I think that's an L. Which, yeah, I'm full up on. Not that we really need them, because again, we don't suffer from bleed anymore. Alright, I dodged that attack <laughs> just by kind of being where I was. I 
don't think there's anything else I can do in here right now. Though it looks like there's also a door over here that's blocked as well. Never mind, I can't make that jump. <laughs> That's a one-way jump. Still trying to see if anything affects it. Oh, I guess I can hurt it. It can be killed. Uh, I try to try to use that as a dodge to slide past it. and I still took damage. <laughs> Might as well just use up the L so I can pick up the other one if we manage to kill this. Alright, so if I... Nope, I pushed myself into it that time. Well, that wasn't as tough as I thought. <laughs> 10,000 points. current is presently normal. Deactivating defense mode. Huh. I thought we'd have to fix the reactor somehow. Plug a cable back in or something. Now how many points would I have got for no damaging this room? Oh, come on, Regina. <laughs> Lift your knees a little bit. See, it looks like there were two doors, but it might have just been a different angle. Well, we'll see where this door goes. Probably needs a key card, looks like. It's an elevator power panel. Will you operate the panel? Okay, maybe this is just a shortcut back up. You can go to the surface. Sure. I guess it was worth doing that. Is this going to lead back to the room we started in? City front dock. Alright. Apparently we walked all the way to the city. Isn't that going to be a problem? Because, you know, the boat's not here. Welcome back. How's the water? I... I don't recommend the diving in this resort. Hey! This is David. Is anyone there? Answer me! Over! Is that cowboy hat? I knew you were alive! Yo, Dylan! I found survivors here! Really? We're about to give up. Where are you? David! David! Edward City? That's not far from here. Let's go! In fact, it's right there, through that door. So how did Dylan know to meet us here? Regina used the city's keycard and unlocked the gate. Must hurry to Edward City. Okay, now I'm Dylan. Regina went on ahead without us. So, let's check if Dylan gets any new firepower. We didn't even use our missile launcher that we bought as Regina because we were underwater the whole time. Alright, yeah, he didn't get any of the stuff that she bought. Which means he probably has his own armaments. Just 
Still waiting on an excuse to take that APC out. So I knew that we were going to have some kind of water section at some point, but from this point I really don't know what to expect. I don't think I know anything about what happens after this. Alright, Chain Mine is a sub-weapon. Fires five mines into the ground, blasting them instantaneously, and turns the enemy on its back. That sounds like maybe it's a better firewall? So that's 12,000, and this is 38,000. Anti-tank rifle. Penetrates through almost anything. The recoil is so tremendous, you'll have to stop and fire. I mean, Dylan really doesn't have anything long range, so that rifle might be good for taking out stuff that's further away. Can I just, like, sell this hemostat? I can't use it. Might as well just top up everything we've got. Since I don't even know if we're going to be dealing with raptors here or if there's going to be something new. Lightweight armor. By wearing the armor, it will reduce the damage you received by a half. Well, that seems pretty good. Didn't I mention something about there should be armor? Alright, I think I don't have enough. Yeah, I don't have enough for the rifle now, but we'll get it eventually. Probably don't need that much firepower just yet. I mean, I haven't even used the solid cannon very much. I feel like we've spent more of the game playing as Regina than as Dylan. Oops, I didn't actually mean to go to the time gate. Repairing it seems impossible, almost like we'll have to find a different way to travel through time. Like maybe the time gate in the city. And of course, the nice little detail, Dylan is actually wearing the armor, which is something I always appreciate. Especially in a PS1 game. So one thing I feel like Capcom's been kind of good with, at least with Resident Evil, is stuff will often show up on the characters that make sense. Like even in Resident Evil Remake, the sub-weapons you had, or defense weapons, would show up on the character model. Along with your guns and whatnot. Alright, let's head into Edward City. And I guess we'll probably stop at the next save point. Hall Road. Sounds like raptors. Probably overkill. one raptor, and I think that's a default raptor. A large herbivorous reptile. Well, again, not a reptile. A triceratops has crashed into a wall and died. It seems that someone has shot it with a poison bullet, causing its nervous system to break down. We still haven't had to fight a triceratops. That makes sense. Since Why would we have to fight one? I've got a new raptor color here. Steel tower for the electrical lines has fallen to the ground. Could the Triceratops have done this? Triceratops just rampaging through this fortress city. So it seems like the chain mine actually goes in a straight line, not a line in front of you. Like the firewall. That armor seems to really have reduced the amount of damage raptors can do. On the truck are many empty gas cylinders. The cylinders are marked with poison marks. I was wondering what that was. It's like a pile of dirt. Enostra... Sevia. Oh, that's not a dinosaur. 3.7 meters, height 1.2 meters. Observation records. The cave route which leads to the city passes through a volcano. Two years ago, the volcano suddenly started acting up. 
From about that same time, the four-legged creature began appearing. They seemed to favor hot and dark places. We believe that these four-legged creatures were herbivores due to the scarcity of living organisms in their habitat, but when one of our men was attacked by one of them, we learned that they were actually omnivores. Although they are slow, we have to find ways to counter them. We still have yet to find a way to fight them. It's their ultra-hard armor which they wear that makes them so tough. No regular firearm will hurt them. Their jaws are also very strong. Strong enough to even crush a helmet. The only effective way we know so far is when they attack, they stand on their hind legs. This is when you should shoot their stomach. It seems to be their weak point. Currently, a prototype weapon is in the late stages of development. This mine-like weapon, when complete, should flip them on their backs. But we still don't know for sure if it'll really work. I was about to say, it sounds like that's a weapon, or that's a enemy for the mine launcher. Since it'll flip them. There's a large bite mark. Could be the bite mark of a dinosaur we've never seen yet. Or something that's not a dinosaur at all. How did I miss there? And also I got <laughs> tossed. My stick keeps trying to turn. Just wanted to look at this. The hose of the fuel truck is connected to the generator underneath all the rubble. Is there a generator under here? I guess so. Alright, well, let's continue on. I feel like some of my shots are just not connecting with the brown raptors. So I guess we're going to have to go through the volcano to get to the city. The motorboat has been deserted. The bottom of the boat has been severely dented. Could it be that it was attacked by something in the lake? Like mosasaurs or plesiosaurs? Look, this is David's mark. That's very cautious of him. That's how you survive. Let's look for another mark. Okay, let's split up then. And Regina also has her armor on. I'm glad they don't make you buy that stuff twice. His mark is just a yellow triangle. Well, I like this kind of swampy lakeside area. Nope. Oh, you're after. Alright, these ones are definitely tougher. That one was literally behind me when I came through the screen, even though there was nothing there. Uh, that's one thing I will continue to say is a detriment for this game, is the spawn system. That they always spawn at the edges of the screen. Including where you're standing. Hmm. I gotta remember to hit turn and then auto lock. I'm trying to hit lock onto an enemy behind me when there's still one in front of me. Or, alternatively, remember that there's a switch target button. Fourth one. Somebody was late to the party. Can I just use the CMOS stat? Okay, I can. Good. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? 
He was even taunting me by running circles around me. Well, that almost worked. I switched to another one, but there was too many of them. What? Hey, you missed, pal. Ah, oh, I almost got it. That's something I should have <laughs> figured out earlier in the game. Oh yeah, they're a little too short to machete from up close. He just swings right over their head. And we killed them all. We got a rock in the way. There's a rock blocking the path. Different from the other rocks. It's a... Calcareous rock. You can destroy it with the chain mine. They're very direct. They don't even want you to try to figure it out. They're like, no, just blow it up with the chain mine. Come on, dude. So I imagine they also expect us to use the anti-tank rifle on these guys because they're armored. Dylan, that's like fatally close to the lava. I wonder if maybe I should be using the solid cannon against these guys. I mean, we haven't even fought one yet. We should at least find out how tough they are before we go blasting them with everything else. Definitely look lizard like. They're also larger than I thought they were, based on the file we picked up. Alright, so they take quite a few shots from the shotgun, but what about this? Well, kills him in one shot, if I'm not too close. <laughs> Seems like the ideal weapon for this. Are you kidding me, Dylan? Come on. There we go. Oh. Unfortunately, I didn't get more ammo for the chain mine. Um, alright, our map does not work here because of the radio wave interference. So there's a ladder there, but I think there was another path back here. Okay, unlike the Allosaur, this does not seem to ignore their armor. I guess their armor's too good. Well, this was just a dead-end path with another medpack L. I suppose once I run out of chain mine, I'm just gonna have to avoid them. Unless we killed them all. Which seems to be the case. Eight thousand points isn't bad considering I got hit. Probably would have got a good chunk if I hadn't got hit. Is this already a stronger one? This one looks dark black. All right, can you like stand? Perfect. Now oh, there's his mark. I don't suppose we're going to find a terminal in here somewhere. <laughs> well, I think I just pushed that one into the lava. Alright, 
So you can kill them like that, but it takes more shots than it needs to. Did I just go in a circle? Nope, this is a different one. There has to be a terminal in here, though, because of these rocks. Obviously, I need to be able to refill so that I can get rid of them. Otherwise, we can't get through here. Unless it really expects me to go all the way back and refill. But they've been pretty generous about not forcing me to backtrack for no reason. Instead of because I need to go and activate something. Kind of feel like David's mark is all over the place here. Oh, uh, uh, well, that's basically death for you. <laughs> but apparently we're fine. He just flips it over. Dylan can take a few head chomps. Alright, so this just led me back here. Hmm. And they're pretty easy to avoid. Is there anything in this direction? I thought there might be like a, I don't know, a research room or something in here that would have a terminal. Looks like we're going all the way back to the ship, which is going to be the end of the episode. And the next time we'll just, you know, continue from back in here. Clearly the fire does not bother them that much, which makes sense considering they live in a volcano. Alright, so I guess I'll go back to the ship and I will upgrade the capacity on the chain mine. And also maybe not use it until we get here so that I can save the ammo for the rocks. It's a shame that they make us backtrack for this. Because, I mean, this is full of respawning enemies that they tell you to use the chain mine against, but then... You also need to conserve it. There hasn't really seemed like a good use for the flamethrower as a weapon. Getting better at that turnaround. This actually would have been really handy when I was trying to combo raptors earlier. I can't believe I didn't try to use this before. What happens if I get a 20 combo of Ovi Raptors? If a regular Raptor will still show up, or up, I guess a Super Raptor. Is that it? You're gonna screw me on this combo? God damn it! I don't think I got hit there. Yep, no damage.
We're gonna need that for our upgrade. Ah, the spit. The sp well, I didn't even have a combo, so it's not that big of a deal. But, like, I don't know how to expect the spit. Really? It took him that long to die? Uh, I just hit left trigger, which is the map, apparently. I didn't realize that there was a map button. I dodged the spit by accident. <laughs> Cooked him real good. Really didn't get a lot of points there, though. It's kind of a waste. I mean, it's still more points than it will cost me to refill my shotgun, so it's not that big of a waste, but... Still a little bit of a waste. Yeah, see, it seems some of the shotgun shots won't stun the brown raptors. Fell right for it, you fools. Oh, come on. You took that long to spawn in. Ugh, there goes my combo. I'm like waiting for one to spawn in, decide none are going to come, and then one shows up. Alright, I was going to end it before we got back to the ship, but we're actually not that far. And we got a good chunk of points coming back here. Enough that I think we can afford the rifle in addition to a chain mine upgrade. But I think that was a good little episode. You know, we dealt with a plesiosaur and finished the underwater section. And then saw a new... Well, I was going to say dinosaur, but I don't think they're dinosaurs. I'm pretty sure those are another species that predates dinosaurs. I'll have to look them up after this episode, because I'm not familiar with the Inostransevia. Alright. So, we've got 50,000. Oh, now we can buy a rocket launcher. That wasn't there before. <laughs> uh, probably that will take out the Inostros, but... Again, we don't need it yet, so let's refill. Yeah, that only cost me about as much as I got in one screen to refill. Alright, what about this thing? It's only 20. Alright, now cartridge. Uh, it's pretty cheap. We'll go with the best value. <laughs> Increase it by 50. Sure, let's get this too. It's probably not very good. I get the feeling about it not being very good. But we'll try it out next time and see if it's decent against them. At the very least, it should have better range than any of our other weapons. That is a big gun. So we can still aim and move with it, though he does go slower, but I assume that we can't move and fire. Alright, well, that'll do it for episode 7 of Let's Play Dino Crisis 2. I'm having a good time with this game, you know? It's definitely a very different game from the first one, but it's good in its own way. 
Though I am trying to imagine this game designed in the way of the first game, like same areas and everything, but with all the Dino Crisis 1 style of puzzles. It's really not that hard to imagine some of these places just having puzzles in places where we activated various consoles and stuff. Anyhow, see you folks next time. Take care.